Let's understand today about the concept of subgroups in a meta-analysis and why it's such a powerful research tool. Look at this research question here on the screen. Off-pump versus on-pump cardiac surgery in patients with COPD chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. It's a meta-analysis and it's focused on a very specific population, patients who need cardiac surgery, bypass, and who have COPD. This is a very particular subgroup of patients. If you look at the clinical trials in the space or the studies, they enrolled patients both with lung disease and without. The patients with lung disease were just a subset of those studies. And because of that, the individual studies weren't powered enough to detect specific differences in this population. And that's where a meta-analysis comes in. In this paper by one of our students, Annalise, there are 1,687 patients from six studies. So Annalise and her group went to the individual studies and only focused on the patients with COPD. And now you have this massive study that has 1,687 patients with COPD, but they put it together from multiple different studies. So this is how you work subgroups in your meta-analysis. You pull data from subsets of the populations of different clinical trials, different studies, and you put them all together in a meta-analysis, increasing the power of that analysis, increasing the sample size, and helping you to uncover clinically important differences in particular subgroups.